Welcome back everyone to another Minecraft mod showcase and in this showcase we're going to be checking out the Da Vinci's Vessels mod and if you don't know what Da Vinci's Vessels mod is, it's basically a remake of an old school mod from Minecraft that was called Archimedes Ships and basically this mod allows you to make your very own ships as well as flying airships in Minecraft. So let's go check it out and if you guys have any suggestions for mod showcases I should do in the future, please do not hesitate to drop them down in the comments below. Alright, let's get into this. So the first thing you want to actually make your airship the most vital part of the entire mod is this right here which is the ship's helm and to craft the ship's helm it is going to be four planks of any kind four sticks and one iron ingot like so and that will give you this bad boy right here so when you place this down you can right click it and it'll open up this interface and this interface is basically how you can set up your entire ship um, and actually assemble it and use it as a moving vehicle so you can rename the ship here you can assemble your ship using this uh, you can undo to uh, undo an assembly so you can assemble and then mount it or whatever and then you can uh, you know undo with the thingy and um, so right now because we're connected to sand right so certain blocks in the mod don't count as ship blocks so sand doesn't count I believe grass doesn't count I think stone doesn't count either um, just kind of uh, blocks that you would find in world gener terrain generation um, they don't count as blocks that you would make a ship out of basically so you do use your wood like you use wood or like wool or something like that and um, just kind of like building blocks not not necessarily like world generation blocks like dirt and sand they wouldn't count as ship uh, blocks so as you can see it says type ship right here blocks 2 which is literally just this and the the chest attached to it so if i put it over here it'll say blocks zero because the chest doesn't count obviously um and yeah so basically um it has zero air balloons and we'll get to air balloons in just a second and there's two tile entities attached so the two tile entities would be this and this so this is actually making it so that this counts as part of the ship i believe and um, but if this wasn't here i think this would just be zero uh, that's how that works so the mass is 0 0.7 kg and the way mass works basically is there's different types of blocks that have different density so for example an iron block would weigh a lot more than um, a wood block for example or a wood plank block so i'll grab an iron block just to demonstrate this here, or even a gold block and um, and I'll grab a wood block as well, just to just to show this off properly. So if we attach the ship's helm here, we can assemble, and it says it's a ship, and it has one tile entity, uh, which is this thing, and it also has two blocks and 0 0.7 uh, kg mass. Now, if we remove the wood block and replace it with a gold block, for example, we can assemble the ship, and it actually shows that it's the same, but I'm pretty sure if there were air balloons attached to this, it would actually be heavier. I think that's how that works. Um, and we can try it again with iron. It's going to be the same as gold, probably, but uh, yeah, anyway. So the way you can actually assemble the ship and get it moving is you can do the, you can do assemble ship to actually like uh, get the blocks all together and all this stuff. So now this is actually an assemble ship right here, and you can do a mount ship. And now this is technically a ship that I'm on right now. It can move around. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of keybinds that you'll have to have uh, bound in your controls config. So I'll go down here. Here we go. Okay, so these are the Da Vinci's vessels controls. So we've got a line which will basically just um, kind of center your uh, ship so that it's in line with all the blocks around you and it won't be like um like uneven or whatever because it's like it turns into an entity from blocks so you want to have it kind of lined up with all the i'll show you in a second and um, then ascent you want to have ascent attached especially for an airship you will need to have an ascent um and a descent you need to have ascent and descent for an airship i don't actually have my oh i do have my bound and um, so i come i've bound mine to my arrow keys just because it's easier for me to control the ship and use the arrow keys at the same time so i can go up and down as well as go wasd to move the ship around and um, and break i don't really use very often but um you can have it as well of course um, it just basically stops the ship a lot quicker uh, that kind of thing and then your disassemble key uh, will be bound to whatever you want personally I just have um, my align and disassemble in the ship's inventory so ship inventory for me is H so I can just press H and I can see disassemble and align anyway so I don't really have these bound to anything because there's no real point for me to have them bound they're just here as well so I can just save my hotkeys by having them bound to the same thing so I can do a line here and as you can see what that just basically did is it basically lined up our ship into a single block or the closest block it is in so as you can see it is now perfectly centered in this block it's aligned perfectly and and it won't have any like missing symmetry or anything like that so now if we do a disassemble we can get off our ship and it's no longer uh, like an entity it's just back to being blocks 
and uh, we can do assemble and mount it again if we want to get back on the ship. So that's basically how how the actual um, ship's helm works. That's the most important part of the mod by far. Um, so yeah, we've got a little sample ship over here. It's just made of wood, pretty basic. Four blocks, just one, two, three, four. And it is currently a ship because there's no air balloons attached. So we can do a mount ship here. And as you can see, it'll just kind of um, sink to the ground once you actually uh, kind of turn into a ship. So once you mount it, it'll just sink to the ground. It won't go like up in the air or anything like that, anything crazy. So yeah, as you can see, very basic ship. It's just, uh, just yeah, it's quite hard to turn because it's not got like, like a lot of uh, fancy stuff. It's just very, very basic. And um, it's probably about the same speed as a regular boat in Minecraft, I would say, when you get it in a straight line. And the more you turn, the, the slower... Um, the slower it turns or the slower it goes because it loses momentum and such so anyway that is the basics of the mod anyway and now we're going on to the airships and the air balloons so this is an air balloon here you can get them in any different color you want uh, that's available in minecraft so i'll go to the actual thing and show you this and um, these are all the different colors you can get the regular white one or you can get any of these 16 colors and uh yeah they, they all work the same so it doesn't really make a difference but if you want to make it look fancy you can of course uh, get a nice like red balloon or something like that so yeah we got a white wool here and we got a string to make our air balloon and you can do the same thing with any uh, once you make your air balloon you can just combine it with any kind of um any kind of dye and that will give you uh your arch or sorry it has to be it has to be a a different color uh it has to be a different color um get the recipe here it has to be a different color wool when you combine the string with it so you combine your string with any color wool and you'll get that color air balloon and to turn it back to white you can just combine it with bone meal or anything like that i think you can just combine it with dye as well maybe to actually get that color uh if it's white so yeah that's that anyway and you can basically use your air balloon in order to turn your regular ship into an airship so as you saw over there it said ship whenever we clicked on the ship's helm but now over here if we click assemble ship it says airship and the way this works is basically your air balloons have to be more than 40% of the, the mass of the, um, the ship itself. So 40% or more has to be made up of air balloons. This has to be 40% or more. So if I take off one air balloon here and we assemble, it's 38% and turns back into a regular ship because this is less than 40. So this has to be 40% in order for it to be considered an airship. So right now there's 27 blocks. It is one tile entity, which is just this, um, and it has a mass of 6.5 kg. So it's actually pretty light because we made it out of wood and, uh, and air balloons. So now if we do assemble ship and mount ship, we can actually, if I use my arrow keys, which I have bound, we can actually go up. And as you can see, we are just going straight off the ground like so. And that's fantastic. So I can use my arrow keys, obviously, to go up and down. And you can just steer the ship normally as well using WASD to go left, right. And you can also press your D key to go backwards like so, which is which is great. It's fantastic. So we're going to go back down again. Um, and I am going to align and disassemble this. So if you watch my modded series, you'll know that like I have used airships a lot in my modded series, especially to get around as like a form of transport. I literally had like a whole base made up of just one airship at one point uh, where I was traveling around. So if you've seen my modded series, you'll know um, I use a lot of uh Vinci's vessels in that because it's such a useful mod to have especially for tel uh, for transporting yourself around and stuff like that so yeah really really good to have um, and you can obviously of course put like chests and stuff on on your ship as well you can put like crafting tables all that jazz you can put it onto your ship to take it around with you it's really really handy to have like that kind of stuff with you so yeah anyway moving on over here we've got measurement gauges and to craft the basic measurement gauge, it's going to be two gold ingots, two iron ingots, one redstone, and two glass panes, like so. And that will give you this one right here. So this one will basically, I can show you a demonstration over here, actually. So we can go to assemble ship, and these actually count as tile entities. So as you can see, our tile entities are now three, and the mass is 5.8 kg. And it is an airship because it's more than 40% uh, air balloons. So go to assemble ship and mount ship. And if we move here, as you can see, the dials here are moving... And also, this here is also a compass, so it'll show you your direction. And when it is flat, I believe that's north. Uh, wait, let me see here. We're facing... This is east, sorry. This way is north. So as you can see, the compass will point north like so. This is how you can see your direction. Right here. I mean, it's it's kind of useful, but like, you do have direction HUD already in Minecraft Vanilla. So it's it's whatever, but it's it's fine. To, it's good to have it, I guess. So the, we can tell where which way north is by basically looking at the compass here. So like straight up vertical is north, and obviously with the horizontal or whatever you're going south or you're going east or west, um, and obviously the other way around is south. So yeah, 
So the basic one only shows you your velocity. Now velocity uh, is how fast you're going. And so the speed of your air, the speed that your airship is going at. So as you can see, this is a pretty slow airship right now. So it's not going very fast. And uh, the velocity gauge is not going super, super crazy. Uh, it's just maybe like a quarter way um, on the gauge. And then there's also the direction HUD. But over here, we've got the advanced version. And the advanced version has two extra uh, extra dials so we have our regular velocity we also have our compass uh, to show which direction we're going in and then up above that you have your um your vertical velocity and your um and your downward velocity so like uh you can you can tell basically how fast you are going up and how fast you are going down so if you look on the left these uh the measurement gauges over here nothing moves at all because i'm only going up and down but if you look on the right you can see that the gauges are going crazy so this this shows you how quickly you are going up and down and it tells you what altitude you are at you're at and such so um it shows you basically if you're going up or down and uh the speed that you're going up and down at so this one the one on the right is more for airships the one on the left will be perfect if you're just looking to make a regular ship so if you're making a regular sh regular ship for just going in the water the one on the left is perfect but if you're going uh making an airship i would recommend the one on the right because it shows you a lot more and um, obviously this is an essential you don't need this to do anything really in the mod um like you, it just kind of gives you a little bit more info if you are traveling around and such but uh it's not necessary at all really so yeah and so to make the extended one it's going to be the regular one with two gold ingots, two iron ingots, and four glass panes around it, like so. And that will just basically tell you all the different stats of your, how your airship is moving. And so moving on from airships, over here we've got the floater. And the floater allows you to basically move a lot faster in water and um, kind of uh, keep you away from like land and such. It just, it just makes it easier to move in water, basically, and it kind of makes you like bob a bit more. It's just better if you're making like a regular ship, not an airship. These are totally useless for airships, by the way, and they don't really do anything extra, so I would only recommend them if you're making a standard ship. So to craft a floater, it's going to be one of any uh, regular wood and um, one of any kind of wool. So you combine those in the crafting table and you got your floater. And now if we do assemble ship, as you can see, we have a regular ship here and we can now go to mount ship and there's going to be quite a difference between this and uh, the ship that we would have over there for example so this one will um, move a lot faster in water and it also as you can see it's bobbing up and down a lot more so it's it's better at kind of um it can hit into terrain and recover a lot faster and such it just allows you to move a lot quicker in water basically it has like a lot more um buoyancy and such and next up over here we've got the shore buffer and we've also got the wooden crate so the shore buffer can be crafted using a floater and any kind of die and the shore buffer will basically mean that um your ship when you align and disassemble it um so we'll go to assemble here and um say your your base or whatever is made out of like uh, blocks that would be considered a ship so like if this was wood for example and you don't want your ship uh, to attach to the wood here for example because you don't want this to be part of the ship you could put a shore buffer in place um like say this is wood you could put a shore buffer between the ship and the the land uh, your base and um, and this will basically mean that the ship won't detect your um your base as part of it so the shore buffer is a way to just kind of distinguish between actual blocks and um, because it won't like the ship won't ever pick up uh, a shore buffer as part of a ship so like if we go to assemble ship here like this doesn't count this doesn't count as a ship at all this um this shore buffer so it, this is perfect so we can just go to assemble ship here and we uh, won't get picked up by the wood so it's just a way to like make it so that your blocks won't be picked up by your ship you can just kind of put this here um as a way to stop your ship from taking blocks from your base or whatever like that because you don't want that to happen obviously over here then we've got the wooden crate the wooden crate can be crafted using three leather and three of any planks like so that'll give you three wooden crates and what you can do with wooden crates is you can take any entity with you so you can take your pets any kind of pet at all any kind of entity and um, you can just pop them on there and now because usually if you put a, like a, a mob or something on the ship and then uh, uh, assemble and mount it it the mob will just like fall through the ship because it's just another entity it can't really uh, stand on the ship but now because we have a wooden crate here we can go to assemble and mount and the wolf will be brought around with us. Any mob that we put on the crate will be carried around with us when we're traveling, which is so, so cool. So you can carry your pets around, all that jazz. And um, yeah, it's fantastic. So this ship is actually just super glitched because it's stuck in the, like, the thing space. But anyway, that's fine. So we're going to get you to sit. And we're going to go over here to the next item, which is the steam engine. And this, as you could probably have guessed, will just make your ship go a lot faster. So the more steam engines you have, the faster your ship will go. And it uses regular fuel that a furnace would use um, 
to actually uh, make the ship go. So we're going to use uh, coal here and we're going to plop this in. And uh, it has four slots, so you can store four items at a time. Um, and we're going to go to assemble and mount. And if we take off here, as you can see, we're going to pick up some speed. Never mind, it just kind of decided not to do that. There we go. Okay. Um, and we're going to pick up some speed here. Why does it keep getting stuck on blocks? Stop it. Okay. Okay, we're going to pick up some speed. And as you can see, we're moving a lot faster than we would have done with uh, a regular ship without a steam engine because the steam engine is very, very good at making your ship go fast. Um, so yeah, I've made it out of floaters just because why not? Uh, but because I made it so long, it's kind of glitched on blocks, which is quite annoying. Um, but yeah, your, your ship can pick up a lot more speed. This is really awkward. Why does it keep doing this? Like, it, okay, to be fair, in the mod, it can be quite glitchy sometimes with blocks and stuff. But anyway, so the longer, the like, straighter, the straighter the line you're going in and the further your distance, you will pick up a lot of speed. Like, why did it get glitched there? There's no blocks even, like, close to it. I don't understand. Anyway, um... Yeah, you're going to encounter these issues, these issues like a, a good amount, so just beware. Unless you're open, like, I would say be out on the open sea if you're going to be doing this kind of stuff, because if you're in a river like so, it'll just be like super glitchy all the time. That's the steam engine anyway, basically you can uh, make it go super fast uh, with more engines. So right here, I've got an example of it having two engines, and it's also a bit shorter, so it won't get glitched as much, hopefully. So um, I think these are powered, actually. Hold on, let's check if there's actual fuel in these things. Uh, there is no fuel in these, okay. Um, give me that. And give me some coal. Okay, just gonna put some fuel in here. There we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna assemble a mount. And you can tell already that we are moving like, at quite a speed. Already, like it, it's already taken off pretty fast. Like this is moving a lot quicker than um, than a standard ship would. So yeah, steam engines are definitely worth your time uh, if you're looking to pick up the pace with your ship. And they also work on airships too, so you can go a lot faster with your airship. It doesn't work just on regular ships, it works on both, which is fantastic. So I'm going to go back over here, and I'm just going to try to bring it into the dock here. And we're going to align and disassemble. There we go, perfect. So yeah, that's that. Um, did I show the recipe? Here? I did not show the recipe. Okay, the recipe is uh, seven iron ingots, one water bucket, and one furnace, like so. And that will give you your steam engine. And over here, we've got the anchor. And the anchor can be crafted like so. Two redstone, one iron block, and four iron ingots like that. And um, yeah, this will basically give you a way to anchor your ship. Um, so it won't get glitched or whatever when you're trying to bring it back into the dock, uh, which is always good to have. So this is what it looks like. And you can right-click it to open this inter interface. And uh, the thing you want to do, okay, so first off, the thing you want to do is you want to get two anchors. You need two anchors for this to work properly. So what we can do here is we can right click this uh, anchor and we can put our other anchor into this slot here. And we can do a link and that should now. So this one is type world anchor. So you can switch the mode between world anchor and ship anchor. And you can go and put another anchor in here. And you can do link and whichever one this is so say this is type world anchor this one will be ship anchor and if this one was ship anchor this one would be world anchor so whichever one you link it'll be the other type of uh, anchor basically so now if we place this down here we right click it it's already bound to this uh, anchor over here so these coordinates are where this anchor is and uh, it says that this is a ship anchor because it is this is the one we bound already so i've i've got one done over here already so this is a world anchor down here and this one's a ship anchor so they're already linked together and the way this works is we can now assemble our ship and one anchor will be attached to the ship already and we can just go about our business and have a have a good day and then when we come back we're finished uh, we're finished doing whatever with our boat. We can then um, just come here. And if we, as you can see, it's already after being drawn into the anchor like so. It is good. Now, okay, I am now on the land apparently. Right. So basically, if you go to a line now, anywhere at all, it's like a good radius. Um, it, it, like you can be quite far away and it'll still pick it up. If you go to a line, basically, it'll draw your anchor to the one that's bound to the world. And then you can go to uh, disassemble and it'll just be stuck right above it. So wherever your anchor is, and um, it'll be drawn right above where the other anchor is um, from the ship. So I would say put the anchor down like at the lowest part of your ship so that um, it, your ship won't get like, you know, crazy glitched or anything. Because if you if you have your anchor up here and your ship is like uh, pretty low down, that means that your ship will be put like underwater and your anchor will come down to here. So yeah, just um, try try not to like glitch your ship or whatever when you're doing this. So wherever your anchor is basically and you click a line, it'll just be like magnetic magnetically drawn to uh, the world anchor. So yeah, anchors are super, super useful, especially if you have like a hard area to get to um where your dock is or anything like that so yeah that's anchors pretty very very useful i would say um 
and yeah pretty cool so next up we've got passenger seat and we've got secured bed so these are just kind of um for uh bringing players along with you so passenger seats are for other players so if you have another player in your world uh, they can get onto this basically so it only works when your ship is mounted so if you do uh, assemble ship and mount ship here another player could right click on this passenger seat here and they would then get onto your ship with you and you can bring them around with you and everything it's great so then there's also a secured bed and as you can imagine this is just a bed that stays on your um stays on your ship because i don't think regular beds work in the game or in the mod so you couldn't put a regular bed uh, down on your ship and have it stay. It would just get like glitched and uh, it would just stay in its place and your ship would move off. So you don't want that to happen, obviously. So this is just, this is a secured bed and to craft it, it's a regular bed and one earning. It's pretty basic. So yeah, um, that's that's pretty much all the items in the mod. So over here, I've just kind of done like um, a big version of everything. So I've used kind of every uh, item that's in the mod in in this one airship here, which is is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna summon in just like a a random uh let's get like a llama or something and uh just to oh oh i'm so sorry there we go much better uh just to show that the crate works and everything like that so uh there is fuel in here and um there's four engines so it should be really quick and i just made like a glass on the floor so it's easier to see when i'm actually flying around and such and um also got a huge big air balloon so this is i want to call this the emerald airship i believe and i'm going to do assemble mount ship and wait i'm actually going to check that again because i want to see how many blocks there are in this thing and um, 180 blocks yeah that's, that's quite a few and there's 66 66 is air balloon so it, it can fly this is an airship it's all good to go let's go assemble mount ship and yeah so that is basically all there is to this mod actually it's a really really interesting mod it has it's been around in minecraft for such a long time and it's so so useful especially in modded survival worlds um yeah it's just it's just amazing for getting around quickly and such uh i would highly highly recommend you get this mod if you have like a lot of traveling to do because it's not super expensive to build an airship and um, it's very balanced it fits really well with the game mechanics uh the vanilla game and it won't cost you a whole lot of materials or anything like that if you want to just fly around uh normally and such and it's not super overpowered too it's not like a super quick way of flying or anything like that uh, it's just really balanced and i think it fits really well with vanilla so yeah that will do it for this mod showcase hope you guys did enjoy if you did please make sure to drop a like and if you want to check out the mod for yourself uh you can go down to the description and uh check out the link there but yeah that'll do it for this video uh, if you are new to the channel please do consider subscribing and turn on notifications that'll be very much appreciated and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next video take care